Hey friends and fans of the world of paleoanthropology and all things anthropology related. Little strange video today. I know clearly I am driving and I'm not going to be looking at my phone. I'm just going to be talking to you guys. I'll probably add some photos over this after you see what's going on. But I just wanted to talk. I just looked at my phone. Sorry. I want to talk um, because one, I'm on a long drive home and there's just so much going on world of paleoanthropology that I feel like I have not properly addressed and it needs to be addressed just there's nothing wrong with it it just needs to be talked about so Homo naledi right uh, my favorite hominid species has been since it was announced it's what got me into the field Professor Berger has been one of my most inspiring anthropologists, um, but, you know, recently things have been a little interesting in Rising Star, and that's because, as most of you know, they made some pretty huge announcements recently, um, such that Naledi used fire, they made cave engravings, and they buried their dead, which are huge announcements, and if they prove true, they're huge. And I think they will prove true. But here's my issue. And I don't know about any of you, but my math teachers here in California always used to say this. I think they were trained to say this. They would always say, you have to show your work for your math problem. And I feel the problem that the community, the scientific community, with the peer reviews that were extremely negative about Naledi saying there was not enough evidence to cooperate the hypotheses that the team were proposing. I think what's happening is Lee and team are showing their answer to the problem, but they're not showing their work. So we're seeing, yes, Naledi probably did these things, in my opinion, of course, you know, other researchers are looking at the evidence and they're saying that's just not what happened. And of course, they are more than welcome to their facts, their opinions, and their own findings. As I am no expert, I'm not going to contradict what they're saying. I'm just saying what I think. I think what Lee is saying is possible, what Dr. Berger is saying is possible. I just think it needs to be shown more of how and why. And then we really need to try to understand the implications of these finds if they do prove to be true. And that's all great and dandy. That's how science works. But here's the problem. And, you know, for as much as I love everyone on the Rising Star team, I've interviewed so many people from the team. You know, I, 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 I love them all. They're all so nice. I cannot agree with the way that this was all handled. The fact that... So, let me... So, let's go back a little. So, what happened? The fire announcement was made months before any of the rest, and that sent ripples through the community. But it, it wasn't extreme. Then we hear rumors, and then we get these new announcements with these pre-print papers that, due to a new publishing system, uh, were published differently than most scientific work, scientific journals work, and they came out in a way that a lot of researchers aren't agreeing with. That's fine. This is a new model that this journal, eLife, is attempting to try. Whether it works or not is up to you. Uh, it is a fact, though, that the papers were turned away from other more recognized journals after months of deliberation. But so these preprints came out and there were no peer reviews. And then a Netflix documentary called Cave of Bones came out. And I will say that it's very entertaining. It's extremely entertaining. But there's almost no scientific value to it. None. None whatsoever. There's no backing of anything that is shown in that documentary. And in fact, I think the documentary does damage to a lot of the ideas on how science is done. Now, that doesn't mean this documentary is all bad because it does get people interested in paleoanthropology who may have never heard of it before. 
So they'll get involved and then they can learn the proper ways of things and the ideas that other people have and they can explore and they can research and they can learn and it gets them involved and that's great. But Cave of Bones is a entertainment piece. And here's my biggest problem. I saw the documentary before Dr. Berger did. I was able to get early access and he hadn't even seen it by the time that I had my interview with him about the preprints. He had no say in what was going on or how it looks or the ideas and images that were being presented. The conclusions that were formed in the documentary do not seem to exactly even equal what they say in the preprints, which is even worse. Uh, but so now this documentary is being viewed millions of times a week and yes it's getting people interested but what is it telling them so it's definitely a pro con situation here and then the peer reviews came out and there were three of them and two of them are still anonymous one of them has uh, become public and I do hope to get her on the show at some point but they were extremely negative and by negative, I mean the conclusions of the peer reviews was that there was not enough evidence to make any conclusions on the hypotheses that the team had made. There was not enough evidence to support that the posited meaning-making meaning engravings were made by Naledi because there was no dating, there was no proof that Naledi made it, it could have been made by modern cavers same is said for the fires and the burials some argue are not even burials they're just deposits that co that happened to have fallen that way and you know everyone again has their piece of the pie i i do agree with the team's conclusions i just as a science communicator i'm seeing the problem with the public's understanding and then thinking that it's okay to rush science this way and to reach out to the public before the science is correct and done. And that, over the span of time we have seen before with other examples, is damaging. Because if we do see that something's wrong, we're going to have to pull back these ideas and start from a negative position with people instead of from even zero when we're teaching them about paleoanthropology. And that just puts more of a burden on professors, educators, and science communicators. So again, is Naledi and Rising Star a fascinating, otherworldly, I mean, it, it's astonishing. It really is. Anyone would agree that this find is astounding, but they will not agree on the implications and they will not agree on exactly what it means for the field. They won't even agree on what exactly is being found. More work needs to be done, and it's important to remember that the team on Rising Star has hundreds of people, hundreds of researchers. And there are so many people working on every little aspect of Naledi that there's just going to be so much data coming out for decades to come that we really, in my opinion, it's just strange we're making these conclusions right now, even though there's so much evidence that is there but is not being used to back it up. And, you know, I've kind of kept quiet on this because I really kind of wanted to see where people would go, like the public would go when they saw the documentary. And I'm not happy with it because they're taking television, as so many people do, as, you know, God said truth. And they're not doing their research, they're not looking into it further, they're not, they're believing what they see, they're not understanding the evidence, they're believing what they see, and there's no such thing as belief in science, there's understanding, you know, we don't believe in evolution, we understand evolution, so I think Cave of Bones is creating belief in the field, and that's not something where it belongs in my opinion. Of course, anyone can have their own opinion. This is a free intellectual discussion we're having. But that's how I see things being done. 
So I just wanted to give my little driving on my way home, weird car angle views. I'm not going to put a picture up because I'm going to upload it while I'm going. You can, well, it's not much to look at, but I hope you enjoy listening and, you know, definitely comment with your thoughts on this. I know there's a wide variety of views. And again, I don't want to make a dig on Lee or his team. They are doing amazing work. And it's very possible they're not showing us everything yet. Because that's, <laughs> Lee's known to do that. He's a showman. I love him to death, but he's a showman for whatever that means. And in some situations, that's good, and some it's bad. I know there's more they're not showing us yet. And I don't think that's necessarily the way we need to be going about it, picking what's the shiny part to show. I think we need to see the whole picture and let people choose for themselves by the evidence what is actually happening. And then we can come together as a community, discuss, decide, and because these are our shared human origins decide how this impacts us going further. So let me know your views. Let me know in the comments below. If you liked what I had to say, definitely give me a thumbs up. It just helps me get my videos and my base farther, which just helps me educate. I don't... There's nothing I get out of this Crash besides ahead the on passion. The five north and half five. You're still on the there's nothing I get out of this besides the passion of educating and talking about anthropology so thanks so much for listening if you made it this far have a great rest of your day bye